What is up there guys? My name is Savrez and today I am back bringing you another Ark Survival Evolved Awesome Wrath build video. As you may know in our last video we built this nice wooden raft right here. We were able to get all the foundations level down to the raft. You can see the raft outline right there and all the foundations are pretty level with it. So if you didn't get a chance to check out that video I highly recommend it because it is going to be essential to get it just like this for today's video. And you may be asking, why is it going to be essential? Well, you want to protect your raft. And why would you want to protect your raft? In case you have to do some PvP. And that's what we are looking to do today. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some foundations if I can find them somewhere in here. Uh, seedings. Okay, there we go. Foundations. Let's. Okay, I don't know why I just grabbed that. Let's try this again. Uh, I don't know how many foundations I need, but where's the ramp? There's a ramp in here as well. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I'm going to try to replace these right here on the wood with the metal. So let's see if we can pull that out. Foundations, ramp. And I do want to caveat this. I don't know if anyone has ever built a raft that is going to look like the raft I'm going to build. Um, I've only played around with it once trying to build it, so bear with me. If it's not as awesome as I make it out to be. Oh my gosh, I'm encumbered already. Um, but I think it is pretty cool. I like the design of it. I did not take the design from anyone else. This is a design that came in my own head. So if it does so happen to look like someone else's, I apologize. Alright, I need one more. And then I get the ramp. Okay, one more. Where is it? There we go. Alright, perfect. Let's get rid of this stuff too. Alright, get rid of that. Come back over. We may just replace the ramp. There we go. Metal ramp. Replace. Perfect. So there we go. The metal foundations are set. And why I said it was essential is because of this right here. Now you can see that your raft is completely surrounded. I don't know. Is that even a raft? Can you see the raft right there? I mean, I can see it, but I don't think I can target it at all. You have nothing but metal floor. 15,000 health metal floor. That is your raft. No one can actually get to your raft to destroy the entire structure on it. Oh, look. A shark. Look at this pike in action. Come on. Get out of here here what are you attacking are you attacking my raft i tell you every time i try to build something all these wild animals just try to come over and uh get up in this video all right so we got the foundation set for it so now we're going to pull out some walls where are the walls um so let's see let's get rid of that let's get the walls built ramp wall okay Let's lay down the walls here. Two. All right. Now this isn't great like the PVP bases you see where you're gonna have like multiple walls everywhere, um, just really rocking and rolling with things. But you know we don't need. I don't actually. I don't, I wouldn't say we don't need it. I just don't think you can put that many structures on these rafts. So, all right, let's see if I can grab some of the other stuff. Uh, door frame, door. Uh, what else am I going to need? Some sloped roofs. Yeah, I'm going to need some of that. Let's grab two of those. I don't know why I just grabbed a small of that. Grab another handful of that. And the ceilings, ceilings, ceilings. There we are. All right, so far I'm not burning down yet. So we'll come back over here. Okay. So... The design that I picked, I thought was really cool. You guys are going to have to let me know down in the comments below if you also thought this was really cool. And door. All right. So, walls. Actually, no, there is no wall there. Why did I put that there? There's no wall there. Don't build that wall. Uh, ceilings. Get rid of that. Ceilings. Okay, here we go. Ceiling ceiling and we need these things right here these metal sloped roof parts we need right here to put in so let's see we got that one there oh is that the back side or the inside I'm pretty sure I got these on the wrong side did I nope you can't even tell so back side inside here we go all right we got that one there and I will be putting this roof on here 
There we go. Sloped roof, just right there. And let's see the next part. I got that ceiling. Let's put the ceiling on that. All right, there we go. Ceiling. Let's put that ceiling on there. Um, uh, so what was next? We had the slope. Nope. There we go. Wrong one. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so that one's that one. That one. Nope. <laughs> Buttons are hard. Perfect. Come on. Right here. Come on. Don't. Nope. Got it. Okay, so that's looking good there. Uh, we need some more walls. Right there. Right there. I do need to go pick up some more walls, so let's open that up. Jump over here. So I'm trying to build this in a way that you can't really see the design coming together, but if you have a good imagination, you probably know what this is looking like already. So I, I was trying to make it really kind of suspenseful. I don't know if it's working out. If you guys feel like you're in suspense or not. There's that. There's that. Alright. That one. There. And there. So some of the stuff you might not want to follow exactly. If you are trying to build this exactly along with me, you might want to be careful on it just because some of the... Uh, stuff that I build I do get rid of and I would hate for you to build this stuff in metal and then me turn around and get rid of it so which way is that going that one needs to be there okay so that one's that that means that one which I can't even see it's right there and we put that there okay and I'm referring to this wall right here these two walls, I don't remember 100% if I had them in here or not. So be careful when putting those down. Alright, there's that. Alright. There we go. Come on, get up in there. Nope. Nope, almost. Come on. Nope, almost. So what I am trying to do here, if you are noticing, as these things flicker, I'm trying to press Q to hold it down to the snap point I want so that I can get them right in place. Right, so once that's done, I don't need that in there anymore. That one's gone. So if you want to use that for a... Uh, What's the word? Like a uh, wood, stone, whatever else is easier for you to make the metal. If you have tons of metal to make it with, by all means, use metal and just get rid of it. It's not the end of the world. It's pretty easy to come by. But if you are trying to build this thing as you are getting into the Metal Gear, then do be careful with it. Alright, so here we go. And uh, why did you go? Why did you go like that? So I'm just, it, it placed fine, but I don't like the way it looked. Nope, I don't like that. Come on, stop doing that. Why are you doing this to me? There we go. All right. So they're all running this way. Good. All right, so this is pretty much it here. Let me see if I can go get rid of some of this stuff. Finish it up. Don't need that, that, that. Don't need those. So what I'm looking to do is put these over here. Let's see if it'll work. All right, let me try this from the inside. This was uh, a little tricky for me to get these to work properly. So can I get rid of this one? This will be fine. Of course. All right. So these are the I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of because it's gonna be fine. All right. That there. Perfect. Come on. Come on. Nope, 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 come on. There we go, got it. All right, I don't think I need either of those, and I just want a little bit more room in here, so okay. So yes, as I mentioned, if you are building this, do be careful with the amount of metal that you are using. Come on. Let's get rid of that one. Nope, come on. Perfect. All right, so we will take a quick look at the side of this. So this is what it looks like. 
I thought it was just a really cool design. I liked it. Um, like I said, I didn't really try to mimic this after anyone else's. It was just a cool design that I came up with. You could paint this thing like all black, make it look really stealthy, like, like, like. Just keep saying that a few times. Uh, <laughs> but um, that is what I built. So the rest of this is gonna be if not if we can. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can even put this stuff in here. But here's the room you have. It's a decent amount of room. You know, it's not it's not the best, but it's not the worst. But this is this meant to be PVP. Uh, we're gonna be putting some some guns on here and you know things of that nature. Just a safe place for you to put in enemy territory. That's why we did work on dropping. Let's see if we can get some of the stuff in here. I wanted the generator. Let's see if I can put that in. Uh, let's grab a handful of cables. Some of that. That that. And we got a bunch of these. Three, four, five, six. I was trying for six of them. So we're gonna try this and see how this works out. And there were some other additions I wanted to add to this. So this is primarily the build right here. This is what I was calling the PvP build right here. The rest of this is just some additions I am trying to put in here. I probably should have grabbed a few generators because I am bad at placing these things. I just didn't want this thing to be in the way of everything, which it's going to be, right? What if I can place it right here and you can still walk around it maybe? Forward some. All right, how's that look? Can you go around that stuff? Yeah, you can still go around that. All right, so where are those wires? Because we want to make sure that we have some power to these things here. All right. Wonderful. There we go. So we have power running in here now. It does. It's gonna make things a little cramped in here, but if you're doing PvP, uh, especially like PvP bases, and when you do builds like that, things are cramped. Now, can I get this in here like I wanted? Uh, it's gonna have to be in the middle, isn't it? You need more room. Oh, oh, there we go. Put you back here then. Wonderful. So there is a bunk bed, you know, faster respawn for when you die. Now, if you want to put another one in there, I assume you could probably put another one there. I actually <laughs> only pulled one in. So there's that. What else do we have in our thing? A refrigerator in case you're going to have some meat. So cook the meat, keep the meat. Let's see. We need to push that button. Now, it appears this won't make it because it is too big. What about the fridge? How big is the fridge? Fridge is also pretty large. So, all right. So, like I said, I hadn't figured out what I try to put in these. Um, but a fridge and a grill ain't going to work. It just doesn't happen. So, let's see what we can do. We got that. Let's grab our, we already grabbed our turrets. And we're going to try to come up here. Actually, I don't even know if I can get up there. Ah, can't get up there. All right, so one of the things... I wanted to try to see if there was a way to put some stuff on top. Now, this part is... If you want to skip to the end, feel free. This is just me testing around. You know what? Actually, I'm going to take a quick moment, finalize what I'm putting together, and then I'll bring you back in just a second and show you what I did. So we'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, we are back, and I am ready to show you the PvP raft. Are you excited? I'm excited. Here we go. Look at it. The SS Dreadnought. So I put, I believe it has six turrets on it. Now, of course, there is room. I believe there are about ten more um, available slots or, or building spaces to add things. So if you want to add more... Feel free to add more. If you want to add the uh, metal foundations and have these turrets come out further, feel free to do that. But this is the PvP boat that I had in mind when I designed this right here. And you can see I, I kind of colored it up. Uh, I tried to do a little bit of a paint job for you guys. And yes, it is running. It is powered. All of the turrets are powered. Uh, you can see right here I moved the bunk bed so that we could have a porthole to assist in any tribe mates that want to help PvP with you if your boat is under attack uh, for any reason. 
you have that. You have your um, generator centrally located within it, around it, up here. Apparently, I painted the bunk bed. <laughs> There's a pillow, a black pillow, and some red sheets there. Uh, I double spaced the bunk beds right here. One thing you will notice that if you keep going further, you might have room to put some mortar and pestles, or maybe a small storage box or two behind the beds. Uh, lots of storage space to be had up in here if you do stuff of that nature. But I did want to add some things here. So you can see some portholes here. Just to help add to the, the PVP-ness. And apparently spray painting this is extremely rough. <laughs> apparently I messed that up. But, any rate. So we're going to go back here and we're going to go up top as well. And we'll take a look from up here to see what we have. I mean, you can see all these. There are powered now, so everything is good. Uh, this is roughly the dreadnought. This is the front of it right here. You got a turret, a couple turrets on the sides, one turret up top, and this is it. So what I'm going to do real quick before we finish up is see if I can give us a little... Oh, oh, oh come on. There we go. And down. Okay. See if I can give us a little driving right here. There you go. You can see that while driving, it's not going to be that bad of a view to move this thing around. But there you go. That's pretty much it. You can see right here, it's pretty cool. Um, I really like it. This was really a fun build for me. If you guys enjoyed it as well, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. There you go. Take a look at that crotch shot there. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you are enjoying the series of these rafts build raft builds uh, that I'm bringing to you. And um, you know, just let me know what you think. There's that red triangle right there. But at any rate, if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and find the thumbs up button, then click flick or hit it for me because it really helps out my channel, and I just greatly appreciate it. Plus, this build is pretty cool. It's something awesome. What do you guys think? If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos, more awesome raft builds just like this one. And as always, my friends, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.